NBC, or National Broadcasting Company, is considered to be the oldest broadcasting network in the United States, first started as a radio network in 1926, then later as a TV network in 1939. But before NBC started to form its radio division, and eventually television, RCA somehow acquired a few radio stations at different markets to compete with AT&T for radio broadcasting. AT&T and General Electric settled to a cross-licensing agreement for our radio development and to operate radio systems without infringing other patents from let's say RCA and for AT&T to build a radio or tool station to sell airtime, kinda like radio advertising, with some advantage to AT&T and be able to use its telephone network lines to connect the stations together. AT&T later launched WEAF and WCAP in 1922 and 23 respectively, served as a radio or tour station for New York City and Washington DC again respectively, thus forming its own radio network. RCA on the other hand, quickly responded and recognized the value of programming. However, they took it to a different approach and have their stations commercial free, so funding by their owners were necessary. Then RCA began to acquire WJZ in 1923, a New Jersey station which was then owned by Westinghouse and moved to New York City. In addition to WJZ, RCA grant a license to launch WRC in 1923. Thus, another radio network was formed by the radio group companies like RCA and its corporate owners in order to compete with AT&T. By May of 1926, in order to consolidate AT&T's radio stations, a new subsidiary was formed called the Broadcasting Company of America, which consists of AT&T's radio stations including WEAF and WCAP. But on July of 1926, followed by AT&T's decision to leave the broadcasting side of business, two of its stations were sold to RCA, in which after RCA had acquired WCAP, the said station immediately shuts down in late 1926 and decided to have WRC to occupy WCAP's existing frequency. Eventually, after the sale of two radio stations, the entirety of BCA, including its assets, were sold to RCA. Later, it was reorganized, restructured, and formed what was known to be the National Broadcasting Company, officially debuted for broadcast on November 15, 1926. By January of 1927, WEAF and WJZ, being the flagship stations of NBC in New York City, were each assigned to NBC's newly divided networks. The red network offered sponsored entertainment programming, and the blue network offered non-sponsored broadcast, primarily news programs, both assigned for WEAF and WJZ respectively. WRC was assigned to the red network. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention NBC Orange, Gold, and White network. The Orange Network carries Red Network programming for West Coast area, the Gold Network carries Blue Network also for West Coast, and the White Network was developed for shortwave radio stations across the United States. Within 1939 and 1941, FCC files an order for RCA to separate Red and Blue Network due to broadcasting monopoly, led the two networks to formally separate in January 1942, being the Red Network remained for NBC and branded as NBC Radio Network in September the same year, while the Blue Network later sold to American Broadcasting System and branded as the American Broadcasting Company a few years later in June 1945. Going back in 1938, Dumont Laboratories and other manufacturers offered their first home TV sets for the anticipation of NBC's experimental TV launch in April 30, 1939. <laughs> The broadcast was transmitted via NBC's W2XBS located in New York City. FCC later permitted NBC for a full-fledged commercial TV broadcast for W2XBS, which later known as WNBT on July 1941. On December 1953, FCC approved RCA Scholar System after CBS abandoned their own system which made incompatible to existing black and white TVs. At the same month, NBC debuted their xylophone logo, signifying the NBC chimes. Three years later, NBC released another symbol for the network, which NBC calls it the bird, first appeared in 1956, followed by the introduction of NBC Snake, this has been a color production of the NBC television network. then NBC made another version of the bird, known as the Laramie Peacock in 1962. 
following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. On October 1975, NBC introduced the new logo forming the abstract N, in which Nebraska ETV, a PBS affiliate, already used a similar logo since 1974, with the only difference being Nebraska ETV uses only one color, while NBC uses two colors. Nebraska ETV eventually filed a lawsuit to NBC, resulting NBC to pay Nebraska ETV over $800,000 for a new equipment, a color mobile unit, and the cost of designing a new logo, while the abstract N logo was kept in favor of NBC and it was used until 1979. NBC's proud N logo was first introduced in 1979, combining the abstract N and the peacock design, together with the launch of the promotional theme or slogan called Proud as a Peacock. Soon after, the logo combination ended in 1986 as NBC introduced their new peacock design, followed by a few modifications, eventually settled to NBC's new and current design by 2013. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. NBC Television. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. This has been a color production of the NBC Television Network. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Television Network. You can NBC there, be there. This is the NBC Television Network. is the NBC Television Network. Come home to the best television network for news, sports, and entertainment. Come home to the best, only on NBC. NBC is the place to be. This is NBC. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. The 
following programs are brought to you in living color on NBC.